which of all these does not know that the hand of the Lord has done this? In his hand is the life of every creature and the breath of all mankind. May God bless the reading of this holy word. Thanks be to God. So we love the message of the song, right? Yes. What did you hear? God and dog. God and dog. In verse. In verse, right. And so the love of our pets reflects God's love for us. How? Unconditional love. Constant companionship. Forgiveness. For, uh, forgiveness without question. The dance. Say it again, Jen. We're the ones who leave. We're the ones who leave. And still, they are excited about our return. <clears throat> What else? Is there anything you experience? We walk our dogs, our cats, our buddies, I see. Uh, we stay with them and we care for them. Do we care as well for God? Attend to God, the God who loves us as well. I remember my confirmation leader saying to me, Janice, if you spend as much time with Jesus as you do on your hair, <laughs> you'll be fine. <laughs> and the same might be true for our dogs and our furry friends. Remember the love of God in all that you do. When you feed your pet, when you cuddle with your pet, when your pet comes up to you with love, when you see God's <coughs> presence in their eyes, and know that you are loved, know that you are valued as a caregiver for one in our creation, one or many, right Sharon? One or many in our beautiful, created world know that the companion that you have brought to be blessed this morning will not only be blessed, but will continue to be a blessing to you as they reflect God's love in care and support and bringing joy to your family. Amen. So we're going to consecrate the elements of communion, and then we're going to invite you to bring your uh, pet forward and be um, <coughs> uh, come this way up the center aisle. Uh, someone first is going to uh, uh, give you a little hand sanitizer to receive the bread. And then you'll take it and dip it into the cup and then bring over here. I'll be over here to offer the blessing uh, and then return to your seats. There's no rush here this morning. We love to watch and be mindful of our brothers and sisters in Christ and enjoy the process of offering blessing upon those who deserve it perhaps the most. 